link for students, university, bullet journal pages video. Uh, so many of you guys loved it and so many of you wanted more. And to be honest, I wasn't really sure how I was going to do that because I wasn't really sure if there were any more pages I could think of. But uh, alas, I did come up with a couple more, some by request from you guys, some uh, I just kind of uh, pulled together. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. But first, before we get into that, I do have a little treat for you. So you may remember my first student bullet journal video that I had a timetable page that I couldn't really show you guys because uh, I had my actual schedule on there and I obviously didn't want to publicize where I was going to be to the internet. So what I did by request of one of you guys is I created a mock template so you can kind of have a better idea of my ideas on how this timetable would work. But not only that, not only do you get the fake mock timetable to look at, you also, or I've also made available a free printable on my blog of this timetable. It's blank as you can see, so you can fill it in with your classes all by yourself. Um, and yeah, it's a PDF, so you can just download it easily and print it. You can either use this as your timetable, or maybe use this as inspiration for creating uh, your own version in your own bullet journal. Whatever it is, this is my first experience with the printable life. So if you have any requests for me to create some other printables, or any feedback on the printable, uh, please let me know. This is my first one, so it's a little bit of a learning process. But I'm excited to provide more of these for you guys. So if you want to check those out, you can visit my blog, the coordinating blog post for this video, uh, www.caitlinscorner.com, or click the link in the description box below. This is where we left off in the last video at the study planner and the project planner. And when you flip the page, boom, this is the grades tracker. And these marked off blue sections are my courses, uh, my course codes. So I thought I'd block that out. Uh, but the yellow washi tape I actually used to add a little bit of color to this page because uh, for each class I made a table where I can put the assignment or the test, the date I wrote it, the weight of that assignment, um, the mark I got, and what my average is, keeping track of what my average for that class is so that I always have an idea of where I'm at with all of my courses. Uh, but this yellow washi tape I got from Michaels and it's perfect. I love it because it's a thin washi tape that fits these dots perfectly. I didn't have to do any cutting, uh, but it adds a nice little pop of color. So I love these a lot. I found some similar ones. I don't know if they're the exact ones, but they're really similar ones uh, on Amazon. So I'm going to have those linked in the description box below as well and on my blog. Now you guys know how much I love my Tombos and how I've been experimenting with um, writing, like lettering with my Tombos. But for this uh, title right here, the grades title, I actually used a new uh, company's watercolor markers and it is Artist Loft. You can get these at Michael's and I really loved using the black uh, marker to write this title because these um, dual tip markers are a little bit, or the brush end is a little stiffer I guess. I just felt like I had a little bit more control with these markers um, which I think is perfect for lettering specifically. So uh, I made writing this really easy. I love the look of it. It's bold, it's beautiful, and I'm excited to experiment with these going forward. So I did a little shimmy to the right here so that we don't spoil the, both of the next two pages because they're two separate things. Uh, the first one here is the September study log. Ooh la la. Obviously with five courses, one class, one or two classes may get less attention than another. So this kind of just is going to help me make sure that it's somewhat balanced. Obviously, like uh, if a course is harder, you want to be spending more time on it, but I'm just curious to see like how this information will affect my study habits. So that's why I thought the study log would be a good idea. Here I have a section for goals, like basically I'll write like how much I'm aiming to work on each class each week um, or this month, whatever I want to do, however you want to set up your goals. Um, this blue tape again is covering up my course codes because each course gets its own section. The numbers in this pink washi tape, again this is the same washi tape I used in the grades tracker, is the date. So um, September 1st to 30th are on the left column and then to the right, on the first I'll write like say I'm this column is for English. Well, if I spent two hours on English, then I'll write two hours beside September 1st um, under the English column. 
And if I spent uh, two hours on math, then I'll write that uh, by the first column and so on and so forth. I'm so in love with this page and as an additional note, the pictures that are posted on my blog um, will not have this these sticky notes there. I'm going to edit uh, on, edit the photos on PicMonkey to just remove them so you can kind of have a better idea of what the page will look like with the, this big flash of blue. And now moving on to page number three or four, whatever page we're on. It is my note taking guide. I don't know if any of you out there actually plan on doing your notes directly in your bullet journal. I personally don't because I think I'll just have too many, especially because I have a lot of textbook notes to do. So I just usually do those notes in a spiral notebook. But if you're going to use, or if you are going to take notes in your bullet journal, or you just want some general note taking tips, then these are the things I've come up with or that I did in my first year of university that I thought were really effective. The first tip is to keep track of page numbers as you're writing notes from your textbooks or your readings. Keep track of the page numbers to the left side of your page. Um, I know normal sheets of paper or line paper usually have like a red margin, so I usually just keep it to the left of that. And I can't tell you how helpful that is when you need clarification on a note that you took, and you can just quickly directly go to the source. Write direct quotes in color, highlight definitions. This is a huge one. And if you have a thought, use an arrow. And moving on to the last um, two pages, this is the essay planner. This is just an example of an essay planner that I use quite often, this kind of general layout um, in first year. Uh, obviously it wasn't in a bullet journal because I hadn't started bullet journaling then, but it was in a notebook. And the first thing I would always do is take notes on all of the sources that I was planning on using. Why did I do this? One, because plagiarism is no joke in university. And um, not only are you responsible like for citing your sources, but I think it's also a good idea to get into the practice of recording any thoughts that you have while reading an article or a source or journal, whatever it is, um, and any questions that that um, piece of information sparked you to have. I felt it was a good idea to kind of record that on paper so that if I was ever falsely accused of plagiarism, like I had something to prove that, you know, this is where this thought process came from, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then the other reason I would take notes on references is obviously so that you just kind of shorten the information, summarize the information to make it easier to pull evidence for your argument. So when doing the essay outline, I'd always start with my evidence and points, um, kind of categorizing the information here into groups. And then from there, I create my thesis. I think it's easier to work that way versus like trying to think of a thesis and then finding evidence to prove it. There's also a section to put the title of your essay and the due date of your essay. Pretty simple. But um, this is also something that can really be easily customized to fit your essay planning needs. And that's pretty much all I have for the second installment in the student bullet journaling series. Don't forget to check out Caitlin's Corner and pin any images that speak to you. I'm also going to include a list of my recommended um, ordering for these pages that I've shown in the entire student bullet, bullet journaling series because I have been getting questions as to how people should order them. So. Obviously you can figure it out if, or do whatever works for you or um, if you want a little bit of a guide then I provided that. If you like the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and if you are heading into school or you are in school then I wish you all the luck in the world. I know school can be really stressful especially if you're at the tail end of high school or you're in university or college. It can be overwhelming, I get it. Um, speaking from experience, but let's just all remember to stay calm and get our planning on so that hopefully our minds don't get too crazy. I will see you guys soon and until then, bye everyone.